had to hop back in the car because as you guys can see it is raining my name is micah i travel around videoing everything and anything i find interesting Let's take a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. I am out here on Universal Boulevard right now and I saw something earlier this week that caught my attention. So back in 1999, this was a huge year for Universal Studios as a company. They opened Islands of Adventure and they also opened their very first hotel that was on site. Most people don't realize that in 1999, Universal Studios was under a different name. At this time, Universal Studios was under the name Universal Escape. There's a relic that lies right here on Universal Boulevard that is a relic from the past. Now they did change the name and the wording. It does say Universal Orlando, but this right here, right over here, is the Universal Studios Escape logo. Let's take a closer look. So right here is Universal Boulevard. And check this out. That right there is the Universal Escape logo. Now I don't know how long this sign has been here. Obviously it's been here for a long time. But that right there used to say Universal Escape. Kind of like how that Orlando says had escape on it really cool something very old from 1999 a lot's changed for Universal since 1999 you guys know how much I love old-school theme park memorabilia so that right there caught my attention and it was really cool because I was driving by and I was like wait a minute I've seen that before although I never got to visit Universal Escape I know what the logo looked like because a lot of the VHS movies that I watched during that era had commercials for Universal Escape. It's pretty cool. So between the year 1999 and 2000, they changed their name quickly back to Universal Studios. Then they started using the name as we know now, Universal Orlando Resort. Kind of a weird time for Universal. Not a lot of people remember the Universal Escape days. I faintly remember them. Um, watching commercials and everything definitely bring back those times where I can remember seeing what Universal Escape was, um, but it really didn't click in my head as a kid what Universal Escape actually was. I just find it interesting that that sign is still there intact and they just replaced the Universal Escape with just Universal Orlando. No studios, no resort, just Universal Orlando. No telling how old that sign is. I wanted to show you guys exactly what that sign looked like. So for all you theme park junkies out there and all you people who like things of the past, that sign is definitely for you. Man, it is really starting to come down. I don't know if you guys can see. That is definitely Florida. So thanks for watching and thanks for taking a closer look at a relic of the past at Universal Studios on Universal Studios Boulevard. The next time you're around the area and you want to see that sign, it's on Universal Boulevard right past Wet n Wild. It still stands there. You guys can go and take a photo and document something of the past. Be sure to visit my website worldofmica.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash worldofmica. Until next time everybody, stay weird. Goodbye.